Yo, what is up everyone? I am DCSK. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the new and powerful two-handed giant sword, the Starless Knight. I'm gonna make a build with this weapon and this is going to be very, very powerful. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm sweeping all the enemies easily with the new voice strike enchantment. Most of the slow attack speed weapon will become very, very powerful. If you want to learn more about voice strike, make sure to check out the link at right top here. And if you want more powerful build, you can also check out the link at right top here and down there at the description. If you enjoy my content, make sure to smash the subscribe and like button, okay? Alright, let's check this out. I'm using Gilded the Starless Knight. It has abilities of very powerful combo and excess damage each nearby mobs. As for enchantment, I will go with Leeching, Committed, Critical Hit and da 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 Void Strike. Best of the best damage enchantment right now, it is extremely too overpowered. Combined with Critical Hit, Committed and Gong Awakening, you can't miss this one. You will be dealing 10 million, 50 million, 100 million or even more million damage easily. For armor, useful metal armor, it has abilities of increase 30%. Melee damage, 30% chance to negate hit, 35% damage reduction, and 100% longer roll cooldown. This is one of the very best melee build armor. More damage and defense. Don't worry about longer roll cooldown time, it is not going to affect much. As for enchantment, I will go with Deflect, Cooldown, Frenzy, and Potion Barrier. For the other two artifacts, use High and High Amulet and Satchel of Elixir. Even more defense and more bonus damage from Potion. Combo with a ranged weapon, Unique Nocturnable is a good choice. As for enchantment, I will go with Burst Bow Strength, Anima, Kondu, and Cooldown Shoot. Actually, you don't need a unique one. A rare Soul Bow with similar enchantment is good to go. Alright, it is very easy to control this build before dive into groups of enemies. Make sure to always brew 2 potion with Satch of Elixir to temporarily boost up your hero stat. And active Iron Hide Amulet all the time to boost up your hero defense as you don't have mushroom this time. And you don't need mushroom, okay? Void Strike is a new game changer and the amulet is to protect you while you swing your giant sword normally, the swing normally or slowly or even slower. Then you can deal crazily high damage with Void Strike that apply on enemies and try to stay focused to eliminate monster to leech life as you are counting on leeching to survive. So kill to heal. Also don't forget to use Gong Awakening when you meet tough enemies and combo with Void Strike you can melt them in a second. If you see ranged enemies just walk like a boss cause you have 45% chance to deflect incoming projectile back to them. Every monster you eliminate will spawn a soul for you. This soul you absorb will heal you up, it is a backup heal, so you won't die easily. In case your HP drop less than half, you go frenzy and increase 30% more attack speed so you can swing slightly faster. And don't forget to use health potion when you are low on HP or fighting against tough enemies to active potion barrier for stone skin. Do not worry about artifact cooldown time, never stop using it. Burst bow string and cooldown shoot in your bow will do the job. Just keep on rolling when you are fighting and the artifact will be ready in no time. This weapon only have 2 combo length, first is cleaving attack and last is slam attack. As for damage, seriously guys, I have no idea how to show you guys. You can just easily deal millions of damage with voice strike. You can almost eliminate all the enemies with just two hit. This is crazy. Golem, Red Captain, even bosses is just a piece of cake to you. Overall for this build is too powerful. But you still gotta be very careful of enchanted mob with Torn Aura. You kill yourself instantly as you deal too high damage. The Torn will reflect damage back to you and you will kill yourself, okay? So Apocalypse plus 25 is a piece of cake to you. Also works very well in Instant Han. If you are looking for easy way to farm kill the gears, I make an ultimate guide for Instant Han. You can check that out at right top here and down the the description. Alright guys, hope you are as fun slamming all the enemies with the Starless Knight. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below. You can also hit me up in my Discord community. Everyone is welcome to join. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button, okay? It is free and you will help me a lot and I'm very appreciated. So happy slamming. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.